I'm Trina. Tonight we're going to be doing our uh, trimming of our dog face puffer that we had picked up a few months back. These dental plates are overgrown. So uh, we chose to anesthetize him. So we've got three drops of earthenol. I think that's how you say it. Is that how you say it? Earthenol? That's Dr. Gray. Dr. Gray. And uh, we've got his salt water here from his tank. We're going to put him in there for three minutes. After three minutes, we're hoping to see a little sedation in him, and then we're going to put him in his regular water from his tank without any sedation. We're going to wrap him in a sheet to help protect his skin. Greg's going to hold him, and uh, we're going to get to filing his dental plates and hopefully have a successful procedure. All right, guys. Yeah, Hurry up. Trina. You're on a time hat. I know we're on a time hat. We're watching the time on the same for the beat. Are we still recording? Yes. You want to we'll come over and still. As he gets closer to um, full sedation, he may go belly up, and that's okay as long as you start. You can still see his gills moving and the air going in and out. Um, I did put an air stone in there just to help with circulation of the sedation medication that we put in there. And uh, I'm going to transfer that over to his other tank just to try, or his other dish pan here just to try to keep him more comfortable. Is it three months in sedation? Mm -hmm. It's three minutes in sedation. We have about a minute and 30 seconds left. Um, Fat Elvis is a two to three year old dog face puffer. Um, we've had him for probably roughly 12 weeks now. Um, the big thing with his dental plates being overgrown is that it hinders his ability to eat. And most of us know and are aware that they eat crustaceans. Um, if they're not raised in the proper environment, their teeth can become overgrown. They have to have things, number one, to chew on because they're kind of busy bodies like that. Um, to the crustaceans with the shells, hard corals, things like that help file their teeth down. When the teeth aren't filed down and they overgrow like this, he's not able to open his mouth real well. I think in the research that we've done, we've got 45 seconds left, I think in the research that we've done, one of the things is uh, doing this procedure at the right time. So before he becomes emaciated or malnourished or anything like that, we want to make sure that he can handle the recovery process. We're down to about 30 seconds. Okay, what I was going to do is maybe... Um Put uh, this underneath them and, and wrap them up in there mm -hmm. for a transfer. All right. I'm going to try to keep my hands dry. We're going to go ahead and remove the air stone and get it in here. Greg's going to carefully grab them. The big thing with puffers is we don't want him to puff air because when they puff air, they're really hard to deflate and can often die from that. So what we have here is a cutting stone, a 420 grade. All right, to be super, super careful with it, not to hurt him. Okay, ready? I am ready. Are you transferring? We're gonna let him get used to the water. And it has to be really, really quick. If the air stone doesn't hold, that's fine. Okay, now let's, give me the, um, the syringe. This. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put the syringe there just to protect his mouth. I'm gonna just increase the speed a little bit. Okay, can you lift him up just a little bit so I don't have to put the Dremel in the water? Mm -hmm. Really careful not to get his lip. Okay. I'm going to have you angle them up just a little bit higher so I can get the bottom two. Be really careful not to get the dental plate. Greg, okay. I don't want to get your fingers. No, don't worry about me. Let's let them get all air for a second. Okay. If he starts to become too stressed, we can always put him back into the anesthesia for another 60 seconds. And try not to do that any more than we have to. 
turn like this, yeah. That's the finger. I just want to get too close to your finger there. Don't worry about my finger. Okay, air. It's okay. Come on, all this. No, we got a little. Piece yep, we got right little there. pieces on the side. We'll do. Clean them up a little. Give me a little breath. Okay, All right, Elvis, hang in there. We're almost done, son. You got it. All right, I'm satisfied with that. Okay. All right, Elvis. Let me get this. Is, see, you know, I can open his mouth enough. This is what I'm worried about. It goes okay. way back. Okay, get some air, buddy, get some air. Okay, Elvis is moving around pretty good. We're just going to give him a minute or so to kind of get his wits about him. I don't want to get him back in the main tank and have him running into anything. We didn't go too short, just short enough to he can open his mouth comfortably and uh, hopefully be able to eat for us real well.